Hello, you wonderful people. This is part three of our Astro Crash Course. This is where I build while learning things and share with you so you could learn from the things that I'm doing for fun. But here we are. So this is what we have so far. If you haven't seen the previous videos, you could check them out. And if you're ever looking to know where all the code snippets live, you could navigate to codingafter30.com. If you don't have to create an account, if you just go to sign up, click sign in, you already have some test user data, you click sign in, and then you pick the course that we're working on. For instance, last video was lesson two, and any code snippets that I mentioned, you're going to find them here in the sidebar. And if you wanna make the screen bigger, you could just move things around like this. And that will allow you to follow along with these videos. But in this video, we're going to continue the process. In our previous video, we added our top navigation, the code for our landing page here with the hero and the section. Then we have our about page as well as a basic block section. And for now, all of this stuff is hard coded in our code. And one thing that I wanna show you, whenever we navigate to the home page, about page and block page, even though we have this top navigation, if you take a look in the code inside all the files, for instance, here we are in our home page. Notice I'm repeating this head section and I'm doing the same thing in our about and our blog page. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about this idea of components, how we could take some of the code and break it down into reusable components that we could use. So, which will allow you to make your code a little bit more modular. So let's get right into it. So now let's take a look how we could make a reusable component where we could add our header code as well as include our top navigation. So that way, instead of having to repeat ourselves on every one of our files, we could have one component that we're referencing. So let's go ahead and just do that. And for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy our top navigation nav section here with the header. And I'm just gonna remove it from our index file. And I'm going to also remove that reference from the bottom. Now I'm gonna to navigate to our about page. I'm gonna do the same thing, remove the HTML tags, the heading and the body. And I'm gonna remove the nav section, which is our top navigation. And of course, remove this at the bottom here. And we're also gonna to go to our blog page and do the same thing. Let's remove the body, the head, the HTML tags, remove the nav section and go ahead and remove the HTML and body at the end. So now when we take a look at our index page, the top navigation is missing. If we go to our about page, it's missing there as well. And if we navigate to the block section, the top navigation is missing also. So now let's go ahead and create our first Astro component where we could reuse our code. So inside our source folder, let's go ahead and create a new folder and we're gonna call it components. And inside this folder, let's create a new file called main layout, and it's going to be .astro file. We're going to add our top front matter where we're going to add some code in just a minute, very simple stuff. But here in the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the previous code that we had before. So here we have our HTML tags, our head, our body, and let's close this out. We're going to close the body tag and of course the HTML tag. What we wanna do is we wanna make this title to be dynamic. So let's call it title and we're going to pass it into our co component via props. So what we could do here is we could say interface props title, which is going to be a string and our props are available to us in Astro props. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and the typing is gonna come from our props. So now we have our reusable component. So now let's navigate back to our index Astro page and we're going to go ahead and inside our front matter, import our main layout. And what we're going to do, we're going to use our main layout and pass our title homepage as a prop. Now, let me make sure I move this down. So now we have our hero section and our features underneath the as children of our main layout. So let's take a look at our homepage and see what we have. Navigating to our homepage, wait, what's going on? All we see is our top navigation, but we don't see any of our children. And whenever learning new things, it's important that you use documentation. And so 
item that we need to solve that, it's called slots. And here you could see an example of slots. It allows you to pass children into your Astro component. So let's go ahead and make that change. Let's navigate back to our main layout and right after our nav section, let's make a new div. So in the future, if we do need to add additional styles, we could do so. And here we're going to use our slot element. So now when we navigate back to our index page, notice that we could see our hero section and our feature section. So finally, let's navigate to our about page and we're going to import our main layout and we're going to put our about content between our layout. And finally, let's navigate to our blog page and we're going to do the same thing. Import our main layout and let's go ahead and use it. And again, let's put our blog section between the layout. And now when we navigate back, notice our homepage still works. When we go to our about page, our about page still works. And if we go to our blog page, our blog page still works, which is pretty awesome. So taking a look at the code, we were able to simplify it by breaking out certain repeatable code into its own components. So finally, before we end this video, let's take a look at the main layout where we took a section of our code, including our top navigation here, and we created an Astra component that has a slot element, which will render our children that are placed in between it. If you want to access props that you pass your components, you are able to access them via astro.props attribute. So if we take a look at our index page, notice I'm passing my title here and we are able to access it via the Astro props. One thing I wanna show you here, if I go back to our index page and I remove this, notice that it's gonna complain and it's gonna say that we're missing the title prop. That is because we used our TypeScript in our main layout here. If I delete this interface, and navigate back, notice that TypeScript is not complaining. That is why we added an interface here and our Astro props will infer that title should be a string and that is why if we don't provide it to our main layout, we're going to see TypeScript complaining. So let's go ahead and fix it. Taking a look at our index page, if you wanted to, you could create a hero section component which will encompass all of this code here and we could create a features section which will encompass all of the feature stuff. I'm gonna let you make those components on your own as part of a challenge. But in the next video, I don't know if you noticed, if you take a look at our top navigation and you make our screen smaller and you see the hamburger button, when you click on it, our mobile menu doesn't open up. So in the next video, we're going to add some JavaScript to give our mobile navigation that functionality. But with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.